Welcome to Dude RV. How you doing? I sure appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another Texas State Park experiential video. Been here once before, only one time. But as you saw up there, we're at Bonham State Park. Had to come back here to get the 360 video for y'all. And I just, I thought this would be a great place to launch the kayak, but now I'm, I'm having some doubts. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the site. We're in site number eight. Now there's not a whole lot of camp uh, RV sites here at Bonham State Park. I think it's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think there's 14. Pretty much, <laughs> you're gonna see the whole loop from right here. And you'll, you'll notice that I'm, I'm nose in. Got a big, beautiful sweet gum tree there giving us shade. And the side is laid out kind of weird. The, the power pedestal is on this side. So if I were to back in, anyway, the distance worked out to be the same. And I like this side looking at their table way better than I like this side because there's my table or a gravel pad pretty level front wheels are, are off the ground but not not enough I'm, o I'm only here for I'm only here for one night so I'm not not too concerned about them being you know an inch or two off the ground but look at our view oh, oh. Yeah, we'll talk about that view in just a moment. So we have an aluminum picnic table, charcoal cooker. And this is something we don't typically see in, in Texas State Parks, which is a stove table. We have fire burning place. And we're camping in style. We got the ubiquitous lantern hook. There's only three other RVs here. And I think two of those are our host trailers up there on the hill. So as far as the actual park stuff at Bonham State Park, it's, it's one of the smaller Texas State Parks. But I was excited to come up here with the Tuck Tech Kayak. And then I get here and I see this. They, they suppose there's a swim area. I don't know if anybody's going to swim. We're going to we're going to go over there and check that out in just a minute. I have a hiking trail that goes all the way around the lake. The lake is completely within the boundaries of the park. I don't even know how to get down to clear water because this, as far as I can see out there, it's it's grown up. So let me let me gather some stuff, and we'll we'll go see some stuff. We'll go see some Bonham State Park stuff. <laughs> A shark. Everybody needs one of those. They have all kinds of activities here at, at Bonham State Park. Play volleyball. Horseshoe, there's a horseshoe pitch. Some of those fun swings that you can go real high and jump out of. Probably shouldn't do that. How about basketball? Is that your thing? Basketball. Lots of day use tables under shade. So mom and dad can sit up here while the kids are out there swimming and trying to get cool on a hot summer's day. It is the last day of July. Supposed to be like 108 degrees today. Better get this done before it gets too hot. My boat ramp fans will be happy to know that there is a boat ramp at Bonham State Park. 
speed limit is five miles an hour. This is a no weak lake. It's not very big. No swimming, diving, or jumping from the pier. I see lots of little perch down there. They're just waiting on somebody to put some worms in the water. They really need to do something about all the... the hydrilla. It's an invasive species, the hydrilla. Can't tell how deep it is, but it, it looks like it's fairly deep right here. All right, let's go look at a, let's go look at some paddle boats. They do have, if, if you're wanting to do some kayaking and you don't want to bring your kayak, they do have kayaks and canoes available for rental. And, and of course we have the paddle boats, which let's go see those. Paddle boats. These paddle boats have seen some sunshine. I think they were all once sparkly like that. And then there's the swimming area. I guess people swimming has kept the hydrilla out of the swimming area. I was hoping maybe tomorrow morning we can put the tuck tick in the water. Let's go see the others. Oh, I failed to mention there's all kinds of day use picnic table stuff. In case y'all want to come out here and just, you know, get away. Bonham State Park is, was initially constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the, the 1930s. So we have some, some of the legacy work that they've done or did. The limestone blocks. And I think that was the dance pavilion. This is the park headquarters now. It used to be, I think, the main restroom facility and shower, I think. But it's, it appears that it's pretty well all closed off now. Speaking of restrooms, we need to go do our shower check. It's a bit dark, but... So we have some pressure. No bench. Sorry, there's no wheelchair bench. Although this is a newer building. Look, looks like it might need a little, little update. All right. Let's go see some tent camping areas. If you're into tent camping, Bottom State Park has got you covered. I mean, look at this tent camping area. You've got great level pads to pitch your tent. And by golly, it looks like they even have electricity. That's cool. Uh, you don't see that too often. Just a dedicated tent camping area with electricity. You can bring an air conditioner and put it in your tent. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I've journeyed forth. I am actually now, I am now in the group tent camping area. And here we have some really great examples of legacy construction from the CCC, where they built the big concrete picnic tables on limestone blocks, and then the cooking station. There's only a, there's very few of these actually left anywhere. 
but they have several here. I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Seeing this. That's cool. There's more picnic tables back there. Bonham State Park has a, a road that loops all the way around the lake. Here, I'll, I'll put up a map. This is where we are right now. I just think this is so cool. Look at all these vines. It's like a jungle in there. Same on both sides. Those look like muscadine grapes. Wow. I think it's just cool. All right. And this is also where the the lake loop bike trail well we're gonna i'm gonna do that ride and that'll that'll be a insta three yeah i'll have two different videos of that so y'all can check it out right now i gotta go do the vr ride around the, the park on the paved roads i gotta get the paved road job done tranquility the far side of the lake is actually a really nice place Right now, it's really nice with the breeze blowing in. There's a picnic table and a couple of benches. This is on the, the Lake Loop Trail. All right, I need to go get something to eat.
So if you're looking for a place to host a family gathering, or just a group gathering in general, well, I was surprised to find that Bonham State Park actually has a group gathering, a group shelter. Even has its dedicated restroom facility there. This is located behind the, the, the bathroom. Of course, the, the road was closed off. But I was on the gnarly route trail and it brought me here. That's pretty cool. So I'm riding on the Bodark Trail and I found the water tower. There's actually a big steel tank over here too. I think that must have been on top of that. Hello? Watch your step. Oh, now that's cool. I don't think we're going to go in there, though. Close enough. Let's go see some more stuff. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. I, actually, I was on the gnarly root trail riding the Valkyrie and I ended up here. I'm pretty sure this is the group camp. Just a guess. This visit to Bonham State Park is sponsored by Tuk Tuk Kayaks. Exactly 100% sure where I am. I've been riding, been riding on the Bodark Trail, and out here, seemingly in the middle of 
nowhere, there's a CCC table. I think I must be getting close to the, the tent group camp area. I think this is pretty cool. It's a living room. <laughs> There's a pretty substantial trail, looks like it goes through here. Still don't know where I am. So on the trails map, number three was that couch and fireplace that we were looking at. Good morning from Bonham State Park. It's a nice little campground. It's a little campground, that's for sure. I'm real disappointed about the hydrilla on the lake. Uh, I chose not to launch the kayak this morning. There's just so much of that hydrilla and I'm still a novice. I didn't want to find myself in a situation where I'm, I'm stuck on a mat of this floating stuff in the middle of the lake. So. Besides, it's, it's going to be 100 and, uh, 104 degrees today, and we got a big state park I'm headed to. So we're headed up to, I'm headed up to Eisenhower State Park from here. That's a pretty sizable park, and it's going to take me several hours to document. So I'm going to get on the road and head up there. Let's talk about Bonham State Park briefly. As I said, I, it's a nice little park, but it's a small park. Uh, but there's nobody here. Well, there's three of us, uh, four. There's four of us, and three of those are just waypoint. So this must be a great waypoint stop. Uh, if it wasn't for the hydrilla, I would say it's a great destination, but there's so much stuff in the water. You really, uh, there were some people swimming and fishing yesterday, but the, the people that were fishing were having to fish in the swim area after all the swimmers left. I saw one guy on a kayak and he was, he was struggling with the hydrilla. Uh, until they get that under control, I can't really say this is a great destination unless you just want to camp where there's nobody else. Then it's a great destination. Well, but we're done here. We're moving on up to document, uh, to revisit Eisenhower State Park. Now that, that's been one of my least favorite Texas state parks. Let's go up there and see if anything has changed. Everybody, everything deserves a second chance. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV and, and you found some value, please click on that thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've already been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to get to come out and check out these, these parks. And for my patrons, I most, I most appreciate your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?